Hello, this is Tol from Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to introduce you guys to an add-on called Scene City. This is the first time I've actually pretty much used it. Uh, but I've seen some tutorials online that are kind of confusing, so I thought this might be a little bit more straightforward and more direct. And I'll leave a link of the uh, add-on in the description below this video. And it's a paid add-on that's not free, it's paid, but for the money. It does a pretty good job. Now the first thing you want to do obviously is, is install it. So after you've downloaded it from the site, after you've paid for it and downloaded it onto your computer, then you go to edit and you go to preferences. I've installed it. Then you go click on install and you'll navigate to where you've installed it. And after you've navigated to where it is, let's cancel that out. And you just put a checkbox in the uh, or check in the box next to the add-on and it's activated and this is for it says it works for blender 2.81 because this is an old version of the add-on not a new version and it works for 2.81 to 2. Point, I think uh, all the 2.8s and I think this is 2.9 but it works from 2.8 to 2.9 the old version does and I'll, after you've installed it uh, let's get rid of this cube here delete that you're going to go to this icon here and click on that and you'll see a new uh, option here called scene city note editor so click on that once you've done that click on scene city then click on link asset and presets from library and then you're going to go back to 3d viewport and the options for uh, since they are not in the tool tab so don't click on that they're actually in the scene settings which is this so you navigate down scroll down and click on that down arrow to toggle your options down and let me pull this out a little bit more so we can see a little bit better and here are your options for building your uh, city using scene city and the first thing you obviously want to do is build your roads and you have to be kind of careful with these options here because the higher the values the long it's going to take so for the sake of this tutorial we're going to uh, leave the city scale the way it is and we're going to change this option here this is the city size and I think NB stands for number of buildings per 10 meter blocks on each side it says 40 we're going to put this down to 5 for the sake of this tutorial 5 enter the random seed just makes it just stands for what it says random seats so where it just places the uh, buildings randomly on, on the road uh, the road randomly and so we want to create the roads first and keep it at organic you can have organic or grid but I'm going to just kind of keep it on organic and the mass maximum length of roads for the sake of this tutorial let's put this down to let's say 10 because remember the higher the, the uh, values the long it's going to take for it to render out and the amount of crossroads leave that at 10 also and then place rows in 3d scene click on that and you scroll in you can see that there's a road here uh, crossroads so to speak and it's got lights uh, traffic lights and regular lights in it and then the next thing you want to do is create the buildings so you're going to go back to your scene options here scene properties click on that and then click on buildings and here also you want to kind of be careful with the values because the higher the values obviously the longer it's going to take to render out so it says amount of buildings percent let's put this down to 20 enter uh, let me see larger buildings appear less often I don't know what that means but uh, let's put this down to 50 enter then place buildings along roadside click on that and those are your buildings. So that's how you can use Scene City, the Scene City add on inside of Blender. <coughs> Excuse me. The easy way. And one thing I've seen with this add on is that you really can't do any kind of adjustments to it. I've tried, like with the textures, if you look into the texture chat tabs, there's no texture tab at all. You click on the building, there are no textures to adjust. So it is. It just places the buildings with the textures and the assets as it is, and you can't really do much adjustments to it. I guess if I 
if I were to dig more into it, you could probably find a way to do it. But at this point in time, for the old version of Scene City, you can't really do much adjustments with it. It works in Eevee, but obviously looks better in Cycles. So yeah, this is today's Blender quick tip for beginners using Scene City the easy way inside of Blender 2.8 and above. And once again, thank you guys who have subscribed to the channel. And thank you guys who are subscribing, who are subscribing now. And those of you who are subscribing in the future, really appreciate you guys. And thank you guys for watching the videos. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.